Hello nieces and nephews, it's Uncle Chris, and I'm on my way to the food pantry. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm going to go to the food pantry, show you what I get, and then I'm going to show you guys what you can make with some of the stuff from the food pantry. And we're almost there. Now I'll film as much as I can, but sometimes I cannot go and film the people inside. But I will definitely show you what I get, okay? Here we go. food pantry and I got what you call the bare necessities now a lot of people may say well huh, what do you do with that I'm gonna show you the bare necessities you can build anything come on let's take a look at what I got we are starting from left to the right okay first things first I got some macaroni and cheese now for those of you who don't know I don't use the flavor pack in here, I make my own because this has a ton of sodium. Let me see if I can get this in the focus here. Uh, let's find it. I can't. Oh, there it is. You think it's a little bit, 440 milligrams, right? But that's per serving. How many servings we got in here? Three. So three times 440. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get the picture. Ooh. I got some sweet peas, low sodium. I love that. Some cream style corn. I'm gonna show you what you can do with this. This is some wonderful stuff. You can mix this with your whole corn or you can mix this into your cornbread. Yes, you can and make corn cakes. Oh yeah. Some diced potatoes. Mm-hmm. You know what? <clears throat> you can use this to make potato salad. Yes, you can. Just make sure the potatoes are done thoroughly, nice and soft. Or you can take them and turn them into potato soup. Mm-hmm. You can also use them in a type of shepherd's pie. And I'll show you what shepherd's pie is if you don't know. All right. Cut green beans. No salt. Love that. All kind of casseroles. Green bean casserole. Or just green beans. My favorite diced tomatoes, no salt added. Love that for my pasta. I got some low sodium spaghetti sauce. Oh, cool. Garbanzo beans, which means more hummus. Oh, we got some beef ravioli. Jay loves these things. Now, I'm going to show you how you take this and jizz it up with this. Oh, it makes a wonderful meal. You can actually make this into a gourmet pasta meal. Your kids will love it. The adults will love it. It's wonderful. Ooh, I got some red salmon. Two cans of that. I got, oh, two of my favorites. Tomato soup and cream of chicken. Now, I do have to wash the sodium content in these, but I'll spread them out so that it's not so much. Then I got some diced pears and their natural juice. Can make smoothies out of these. Can make desserts out of these. Some applesauce. You know, you can bake with this. You can make cookies with this. I'm going to give this to Miss Brenda and see what she can do with it. We'll have a show on that too. Excuse me, y'all. I just did the dishes. Let's hop over here. Now, we've got some walnuts. Love these because I always have Miss Brenda make some cookies. Or I might make some myself. We also have some raisins. Love raisins in oatmeal on my cereal. I showed you guys how to make your own raisin bran. Then we've got some oatmeal. This was my mother's favorite. You know my mother's favorite breakfast was oatmeal and bacon. She loved it. She loved it. Then we've got six apples. Oh, this. you know what? I should make an apple pie. I should make a summertime... My, ooh, I should make my cheddar cheese apple pie. I know some people are saying, what? Yes, I'm telling you, it's good. I'll show you how I do it. Then I've got a grapefruit, which is one of my favorites. Love grapefruit. And oh, look, guys. 
I've got some frozen apricots. I can show you, since we're doing tropical this summer, how to make a nice tropical drink with the apricots. And if you choose to, uh, you can add some peach snaps to it and make an adult drink. Yes. I've got a zucchini, which I could add to that ravioli or some pasta or just have some sauteed vegetables with that. I've got some bananas. Love me some bananas. Put those in smoothies too. Some elbow macaroni. Great, great for casseroles. And of course, macaroni and cheese. Then I've got some corn flakes. Now, you want to hear something funny? If you're a fisherman, you can use these to make your own dough bait. Yes, you can. Catch tons of catfish like that. Also, tons of bass. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Some rice. I think this is going to be cool. Because I'm going to have some friends over. Now, I'm not a rice person, but I might do some Puerto Rican rice and have them uh, indulge in it because they've been asking me. I got a bag of onions. Saboya? Yes, I have them. Love this. Then we've got, check these out. And these are spicy. They are those uh, Beyond Beef patties, but these are the jalapeno. Oh, yes. 100% plant based. I got two packs of them. These are great on the grill or in the skillet, but I love them barbecued. Uncle Mike loves these too. Oh, look at this. I got some beef. We got a pound, I believe that's, yes, one pound. Ground beef. We got some hot dogs. Oh, two packs of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Got a couple packs of these. And then we've got these wonderful caramel cookies. These are so good in a sundae or an ice cream. Oh, yes. Then we got some donuts. Wonderful donuts. Now, I'm going to tell you a trick. If ever you get donuts and they've turned a little stale, crumble them up and make them into bread pudding. It'll be the best bread pudding you've ever had. Trust me on that. Now, Let's take a look at everything we got. And remember, it is a true blessing to have these things. All right, nieces and nephews, you've seen what I got from the food pantry. And I've given you some ideas as to what you can make with these things from the food pantry. Now, today I'm also going to show you how to make that tropical drink with the apricots frozen so good. A little tajin on top. Yes. Just yes. <laughs> All right. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Write to me, Uncle Chris, the Food Pantry Chef at gmail.com. If you need food and you're in the Chicago area or the out outlying suburbs, let me know. I will bring you some. Just let me know what's going on, okay? Or if you just want to chit and chat. All right. All right, stay tuned because it's summertime and my good friend Joe, one of my nephews on the internet, we're going to show you our gardens. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. All right, big love from Uncle Chris and I'll have a new video coming very shortly, maybe even today. Bye-bye. <laughs>